So hi everyone, uh, my name is Jin Van Stee, and today I'm very excited to have two um, experts in the IBM Z area. We have Matt Mondix and Shalon King, and both of them will talk about why we have partnered with Red Hat OpenShift to provide this um, state-of-the-art hybrid cloud system environment for IBM Z. And so, without further ado, um, I'll let Matt and Shalong introduce themselves, and we'll get started with the interview. So, go ahead, Matt. Yeah, thanks, Jen. Um, hey, thanks for having me. Uh, this is Matt Mondis. I'm with the Washington System Center, um, and I focus on um, OpenShift and really IBM's hybrid cloud um, portfolio on IBM Z and Linux One. All right, and thank you, Matt. And Shalon? Uh, I'm Shalon King, a technical program manager for IBM System Z. Um, I support and focus on hybrid cloud and Z hardware or IBM Z hardware business continuity. So I'll just ask, so Matt, how long have you been with IBM and working on IBM Z? Yeah, so I've been with IBM, I actually just hit five years um, last week, and I've been working specifically on IBM Z for probably three and a half or four of those five years. All right, excellent. And, and Shalon, what about you? IBM for 21 years, um, and I've been working on the IBM Z platform focusing in that space in general for about 16 of those 21 years. <laughs> so if you look at our stack portfolio, I've covered everything from middleware to integration to now, you know, where hybrid cloud sits for IBM Z. Why, so what do you guys think? Why do organizations need to think about um, when adopting a hybrid cloud with IBM Z and what technologies are available to do so? Some of the things I know a lot of customers are on the path to adopting the hybrid cloud solution or hybrid cloud model. Um, and, you know, the first thing I think most of our clients need to think about, especially based off the conversations that we've had, is what does it mean to be hybrid? <laughs> what does that look like for your business? What, you know, that comprises of within the enterprise itself? You know, when we first started down this journey some years ago, when we started talking about hybrid cloud and IBM Z and where it fits and positioning, most customers didn't consider the IBM Z platform as a hybrid cloud option for, you know, managing um, cloud native applications and being able to deploy workloads. So I think, you know, the first thing they need to think about, of course, is what is the hybrid cloud model? What does that look like for our business? What are our business you know, requirements and where are we trying to go as it relates to a hybrid cloud solution, right? Because depending on, you know, what they define, our teams, you know, have worked with many customers to help solidify what a hybrid cloud model should look like and how does that include Z and why is Z important? So um, that's the first piece of it. The technologies, you know, we have a vast amount of solutions that are available on the Z platform. So, so, I can I can pause here and kind of pass it off to you and, and let you go from there. Yeah, no, I mean, I'll definitely echo that. Um, I mean, to me, hi hybrid cloud, um, when that relates to Z, it, it really just means to me flexibility and giving you options. Um, if you don't want to move everything to a cloud or to a public cloud, you don't have to. You know, it's a hybrid cloud approach. You can keep certain workloads and applications and data where they are if they're better off there. Um, you can move certain workloads to the cloud, containerize them, whether that's in a public or private cloud. Um, it just gives you more options, more flexibility. Uh, but, you know, modernization, uh, Z modernization is something that we talk about all the time these days. Um, it shouldn't mean just moving everything to the cloud. There's plenty of examples where um, your applications have certain qualities of service. Um, a lot of times we talk about ZOS in that way. Um, you know, ZOS has a storied history of quality of, of service, you know, reliability, security, um, you know, five nines of uptime and the really still unmatched today. So, 
if you have ZOS applications and data and you don't want to move them into the cloud, you don't want to containerize them, simply making them accessible from cloud native containerized applications through you know, some of our technologies like uh, ZOS Connect, um, ZOS Cloud Broker, OpenShift running on Z, whether that's on Linux on Z or ZOS. Um, there's plenty of great ways that we can let you stay flexible um, and also meet those goals of modernization in a way that makes sense for each organization. The organizations are adopting this, um, you know, hybrid cloud on Linux on IBM Z, specifically OpenShift on IBM Z. Yeah, so um, I'll kick this one off and then I'll pass it to you, Shalon. Um, you know, there's, there's not a single answer to that question. You know, there never is <laughs> with what we what we do. Um, there's all types of different reasons why I see customers um, running OpenShift on Linux on IBM Z, Linux One, and now um, ZOS. But there's recurring use cases that we we see over and over again. So I'll I'll list a couple of those. Um, probably the, the top one I see is co-location. Um, so from the IBM Z world, um, as you know, you guys on this call are aware and probably people listening to it are aware, um, we have a lot of traditional workloads and systems of record that we kind of already mentioned. We have a lot of data and the data that we have on IBM Z and Linux one isn't you know just your run of the mill regular data and you don't really care where it lives. Um, if something's on IBM Z, the organization typically cares about it a lot. <laughs> so, you know, customer data, you know, think financial services, um, things that are under the purview of compliance regulation, sort of the, the crown jewels of your IT organization. Um, so when you have a project where you want to move to the cloud or, or do containers, do cloud, and use that data in the applications that you're containerizing, you don't really want to move it. So we see a lot of customers bringing the cloud and containers and the container platform being OpenShift to their data that is running on OpenShift on IBM Z, rather than taking your data or workloads off of the platform to run in a cloud elsewhere or access it from a cloud elsewhere. So, you know, you know our organizations we work with can stay comfortable with where their data uh, resides, keep it under their own roof, keep their own security measures in, in place as they have been for a while, um, but also leads to the lower latency and better transaction speed because you are running this on IBM Z. You can use HyperSockets to talk to that ZOS data, talk, you know, living in the LPAR next door to OpenShift. So we've got extremely fast processors, cache, IO, all the other great things we love about IBM Z. Um, so yeah, there's um, plenty of reasons why co-location makes sense. Um, and there's a lot of uh, use cases we have out there, a lot of success um, we've had with customers with that use case. I know next to nothing about the Z operating system, you know, traditional workloads running on Z. I don't really know much more than how to log on to ISPF and um, not really, not really know how to do anything from there. Uh, but I have made my career so far in Z um, with containerization on Z and OpenShift on Z and Kubernetes because that abstraction layer, Kubernetes and OpenShift really um, abstract away a lot of the skills that organizations typically need to run any workloads on Z. You know, I can run a workload on x86, on IBM Cloud, on IBM Z um, in the same way and set up a single DevOps pipeline that can um, build and deploy an application to any of those platforms and architectures uh, without really knowing any of the, the skills related to the specific infrastructure. Um, so I think that's really a benefit um, if you want to get more workload onto the platform, but you're worried about that skill gap, um, OpenShift on IBM Z is a, is a great way uh, to overcome that. That's great, great feedback. Thank you. So uh, thank you for all these valuable information and would like to know about OpenShift container platform, which is now supported and available to run on IBM Z operating system. And with, with the use of this IBM Z operating system container extensions, what do you think are the, some of the advantages of running an OpenShift container platform on IBM Z operating system? What is that? Now, what are those pros that you see would benefit the clients to do that or, or businesses to do that? 
Yeah, so um, you're talking about IBM uh, ZOS container extensions or ZCX. Um, they're really cool. And, you know, for those who don't know, um, ZOS container ex extensions lets you run Linux on IBM Z containers. So S390X architecture containers in a ZOS address space. So there's a lot of advantages there, um, including, you know, if you don't have Linux on IBM Z skills, um, if you're a ZOS shop and you've got those skills and you've got um, zips and you, you've got no IFLs, um, that is no longer a limiting factor. Typically, um, not having IFLs has been a blocker for some uh, ZOS shops who uh, have wanted to do something like OpenShift or wanted to get into the container space. So that's now an option. Um, also, just skill-wise, um, Managing OpenShift on IBM ZOS container extensions is very similar to how you would manage any other process running in a ZOS address space. Um, there's less Linux skills required there. Um, and then, you know, just from the actual benefits of the, the workload running on ZOS, you get all the, um, uh, the ZOS qualities of service that we've talked about, your reliability, your, your uh, security, um, things that you have built up over decades of using the operating system, uh, ZOS. And a lot of that comes down to, um, again, latency. So if you have very um, high requirements uh, for low latency, if you need to keep your workload talking to the data within the same LPAR, you can't even take it across the hypersocket talking to the Linux on IBM Z LPAR um, next door. Um, you can keep it all together. Um, keep the latency very low. Um, so a lot of transaction processing type of workloads are great use cases here. Um, so yeah, you know, it's a great new solution um, for all those reasons. It's a, it's a great example of how much focus um, IBM and Red Hat are putting on the IBM um, Z platform um, as it relates to both Linux on IBM Z and, and ZOS as part of our uh, broader hybrid cloud strategy.